So this is Mark Singleton of American Whitewater and uh, we are at the Farabee put-in station on the Nan Nanahala River and uh, something a lot of people who use whitewater don't really think about. Uh, Mark, how does the water get here? Well, the water's impounded upstream about 10 miles from here in Lake Nanahala. And Lake Nanahala is a very deep lake and it's owned by Duke Energy and they operate it for hydroelectric power. And the powerhouse is actually located about six miles away from the lake. So there's a large um, steel flume, a penstock, that the water is released out of the lake and it comes out of the bottom of the lake. So the water here in the Nanahala is actually very cold. And um, then it travels downhill about a thousand vertical feet so you can imagine that it doesn't take much water to drop a thousand feet to create quite a bit of head to spin the generators at the hydroelectric plant and as a result of that drop in the amount of water this is a very efficient hydro operation upstream. The water that then comes into the Nantahala has already produced electricity and Duke manages it to balance between their electric generation needs and the needs for recreation in Swain County. So the Nantahala River here, while it has water now, if we were here three hours ago, it would have been so dry that you could have literally walked across it on your ankles. So Duke has been providing releases for recreation, and recreation on the Nantahala River alone is about an $85 million a year industry. And as part of a relicensing process for this dam and others in the Nantahala and Tuckasegee system, American Whitewater worked with Duke to secure this water as a guaranteed release to, to help the outfitting and paddling industry that's here in place. So up to now, this has been nothing more than a handshake agreement between the outfitters and Duke and with the new operating license that Duke is receiving this will be guaranteed for the next 30 to 50 years, which is the term of the license. So this water out here is working double time for, uh, for people providing electricity and then providing a, a platform for outdoor recreation. And uh, people like Mark are trying to fight to make sure uh, that uh, all that stuff gets written down on paper um, so that people can enjoy uh, the outdoor surroundings in the gorge and, and the water uh, after Duke uh, does what they need to do with the water to uh, give us our electricity. 